Hi, welcome to Raw Math. Today I'm doing a set of videos on set, set notation, and different um, items that work with sets. So the next thing I want to talk about is union and intersection. Union is bringing together all of the elements. So if you think of a union for a job, the plumber's union ha is the union for all of the plumbers in an area. It's not all the plumbers who work in one business, it's all the plumbers. And so they bring all the plumbers together so that they can discuss common concerns. Intersection, that's what this little symbol means. It looks like an N, whereas that looks like a U. This is intersection. And the intersection is um, elements that are the same. The last thing is um, a little C up there. That means complement. I sometimes think of it as not. Um, so if you, the universe was all the people on, on planet Earth and our set X was all of the people in a union, any union, we'll make it a big set, the complement is everybody not in the union. The set plus its complement should be the entire universe as defined. Okay, so here I have a universe defined. X is a number between zero and 10 inclusive. That means zero and 10 are part of it. A, B, and C. So this is a union. Union says bring all of the elements together. So I only list elements once. So A has zero, one, two, three. And zero, one, two, three is the beginning of this. So I'm just gonna list off zero, one, two, three. Okay. Four. B has four, A has five, B has six, and A has eight. Notice I didn't list the two twice. I didn't do that because you don't need to list elements twice. Actually, you should not. You should only list every element once. This says what is the complement of B. So that means what elements are in the universe but not in B. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, now this intersection, that says what is common. Now I would tell you to write out B complement had we not just written out B complement. It is much easier to write the sets out than try to do the mental gymnastics of keeping everything in your head. Intersection of A and B complement says, what does this set and this set have in common? So A starts with zero. Nope, that's not common. One. So one is common. Let's see, two, no. Three is common. Five and eight. And that's what the intersection is, what they have in common. B union C. Another way to remember the difference between these, besides it looks like a union, is you could also think of this as looking like a bowl and everything is being thrown in the bowl versus this is a cup. And if you think of it like hungry, hungry hippos, when you put the cup down, you don't catch everything, you only get a part of it. All right, so for the union of B and C, we're combining B and C. Well, B, 0, 2, 4, 6, C, 1, 3, 5, 7, if we put them together, we get 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay. So next, we're being asked about B, uh, union, everything together, with the complement of C. Well, like I said, I want to know what the complement of C is. So I'm going to quickly write the complement of C down. So that's going to be 0, 2, 4, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And because B is a 
subset of this, 0, 2, 4, 6, B is completely contained in the complement to C, this actually just becomes the answer to the question. The C complement is the union of B and C complement. Okay, A complement with C. Well, A complement, once again, we want to write this down. It'll help us. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All right, well, we want to put everything of this together with 1, 3, 5, 7. So that's going to be 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 10. So this time, the union actually added more elements because C complement is not a subset. Sorry, A complement is not a subset of C. Okay, so now things are getting interesting. We have three things going on. Always start with the parentheses. We have C, uh, A complement right here. Intersection, once again, intersection means kind of like intersection of two streets, the part they share. The intersection of A complement and C, what they share, let's see, what do A complement and C? Four, one, three, five, oh, seven. All they share is seven. And we want the union with that and zero, two, four, six. Union means bringing everything together. So it's zero, two, four, six, seven. Okay. A union B. Oh, we did A union B up here in the very first problem. So the complement of that is everything in the universe, not in the set. So zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, next we want the union of A and C that's putting them together. And since we don't have that yet, the union of A and C is, let's see, zero, one, two, three, that's all in A, one, three, five, five, seven, eight, okay. This is putting together all of A and all of C, and we want the intersection of that with B, which is 0, 2, 4, 6. Intersection is what they have in common, so we'll go smaller. 0, yep. 2, yep. 4, nope. 6, nope. So our answer is the set 2 and 0 and 2. I am sorry that that was out of the camera. So the intersection is putting together everything in A and C. Intersection, I just wrote down B as it is up top, and then I just element by element, zero, two, nope, nope, to get zero and two as my final set. Okay, so for my last few, this one is asking for the intersection of A and B and C. It's what is a common in all three of them? Let's see, B and C have nothing in common. B are evens, C is odds. B and C actually have nothing in common. So the, what's common in all of them? That's gonna be our empty set. There is nothing common in all of them. Union of all three, that means we're putting all three together. So A starts with zero, one, two, three. B brings in four, A has five, B brings in six, C brings in seven, and A brings in eight. None of them have a nine. None of them have a 10. Okay, so this one we're gonna, this one's gonna be a little more complicated. Okay, complement of A, um, we've written the complement of A down. We'll just do it again. It's four, six, seven, nine, and 10. Intersection with the complement of B. We wrote the complement of B down. It's one, three, five, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. We want the union C. Basically what this says is we want, reading this left to right, what's the same in these two with everything in C? I, I guess I should write out C. C is one, three, five, seven. Okay. So let's see, four, six, seven, nine and 10. Seven, nine and 10, universe, uh, united with one, three, five, seven, and if we unite these two together, 
we have one, three, five, seven, nine, and 10. The last question is list all of the subs, no, write down a subset of A. There is so many. I'm not going to write them all. I have a couple of videos on subsets and you can just see how many I wrote down for a set with five elements and A has six, so it's gonna be even more ridiculous. I could write down one, five, eight. I could write down three. I could write down anything really. Any combination of the elements in A will be a subset. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my Facebook page, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.